Okay, I gotta download monkey mod manager and then I gotta download that and then I got to add my mod wait 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 catastrophic failure catastrophic failure what does that even mean this is the second version of how to get mods so this is going to be a more detailed version and not just getting straight to the point well I'm gonna get straight to the point but you know what I mean. I'm gonna be- I read all my comments from the last video, from the last, um, tutorial, and most of you guys were talking about catastrophic failure, and that your guys, um, the mods weren't working, and that, um, your hands were stuck in stump, and you were basically a ghost. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to fix that. All the links will be, um, in the description down below. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into Discord, and you're going to... I'm gonna have a link for um, Shiba Shiba DT's um, Discord server. This is the mod menu that I recommend you use because this is um, the only really mod menu that I actually know of right now. Um, so we're we're gonna uh, once you get in, um, you're gonna go to menu download. I think it's the first one. You're going to scroll all the way down to the latest version. Um, whenever you're watching this video, just scroll to the latest version of the Shiba GT Dark Menu. I will be reviewing this mod menu soon. So, I'm gonna download this. Continue to download. I've already downloaded this, but I'm gonna download it again just to show you guys that it is safe to download. And then, you're just gonna want to, um, have that in the folder. Then, the next thing you want to do is once you have the desired mod menu that you want, you want to download Monkey Mod Menu. Literally, all you want to do is go on your browser and just search up Sun Spelling. Monkey Mod Manager. Don't click on the first link. I'm gonna have a link for it, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through it. The link should take you to. It'll take you here. So once you have Monkey Mod Manager downloaded, once you have that there, you don't open it yet, but you want to make sure that you have Oculus oculus app and steam and gorilla tag downloaded before you do anything you want to make sure you have steam and you want to make sure gorilla tag is down is is on steam you just need to make sure you have gorilla tag on there and it shouldn't say catastrophic failure so it should look something like this to look like this so what you're going to want to do you want to scroll all the way down you're going to want to have a uh, computer interface tmp loader and utila and you're going to want to click on install slash update um, should say install complete. Then you want to go to utilities. You want to go to the right where it says important folders. Go to the Bepinex folder, and then you're going to walk to. You're going to want to go to plugins. These should already be here. Then what you're going to want, if you want to get your menu here, you're going to want to go to your folder wherever you put it in. You want to take it. You want to click and drag. You just want to uh, move it. Don't move it into any here. You want to just have it where it says move to plugins and then you move it into your plugins and mine's already here so once you have that you're going to click install slash update so just say install complete you can also have any other um you can have like things like gorilla cosmetics up here just to warn you if you have gorilla cosmetics enabled the reason why you're stuck in the stump is because of gorilla cosmetics so if you have gorilla cosmetics and you want to get rid of it, I'm going to show you how. You're going to want to go to utilities, you're going to right click on it, and then click on delete and it gets rid of it. That should fix you being stuck at stump. Catastrophic failure is just basically, Monkey Mod Manager will not work if Gorilla Tag is not here. But you need to make sure Gorilla Tag is installed or else it will not work. Make sure you have a link cable. You need to have your PC connected to your Oculus. You can use AirLink, you can use Virtual Desktop, you can use any, ty any type of software or, or port, or USB port, to connect your PC to your Oculus. If I didn't cover anything in this video, um, leave it in the comments down below. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. I hope I fixed your guys' problems. Like and subscribe for a free banana. I'm being serious. You see this banana right here? I'm going to give this banana to you if you just subscribe. I will change my banner to literally just it saying subscribe for a free banana. I definitely didn't steal this idea from anybody else. Here, you know what? Just just take it. Just take it. I, I trust you that you subscribe. Here, just, just, just take it. Ugh!